Hi everyone, welcome to week five of your Pharmacy Technician Capstone course. Um, this week is your midterm week. So um, let's talk a little bit about all of the different things that are expected of you this week, and then we'll talk a little bit about what to expect on the midterm itself. Um, so first of all, this week does have a um, an assignment as well as a discussion. As with the previous weeks, this week's discussion is about the assignment, so you'll want to make sure that you complete the assignment first. Um, as you're going through these um, scenarios, keep in mind that the, the idea behind the discussion posts is to you know be as detailed as possible about the scenario. Talk about every little piece, um, everything that you noticed in the scenario. Um, this week in particular, there's several moving pieces going on. There's a lot of stuff happening. Um, so you can talk about each different thing that happens and, you know, what you think should have been done, what do you think shouldn't have been done, those types of things. Um, since this week is about handling difficult people, um, you know, this is obviously just a, a snip of what you might see in a real pharmacy setting. Um, you're going to be looking at... Um, you know, the different people that you're going to run into as far as customers go. Um, you're going to be looking at working with um, a doctor. Um, but keep in mind that those are just um, examples. There are a lot of other folks that you'll have day-to-day -day contact with uh, that that might prove difficult. So let's think a little bit about those too. Um, what would you do differently, um, you know, or, or what what might happen with other people? For example, um, you know, you're going to be getting phone calls. Um, so what if one of this one of these scenarios uh, was a phone call and the person that was on the other end of the line was upset because um, you know you weren't able to answer their question they had to be put on hold or you know something along those lines uh, what if um, the person that you're um, you know having the conflict with was not the doctor themselves but someone else in the doctor's office um, keep in mind that one of our other um, important job uh, functions that you're going to be looking at next week is um, adjudication. So what that means is making sure that the insurance is processed properly. So in that process, we might have to be working with the, you know, the claims folks at different insurance companies. You know, what if we're having a problem with that? Um, you know, what if we have to call the doctor and work with the insurance company to go back and forth between that adjudication piece? You know, just so kind of think of some of those scenarios. Um, so again, you'll want to make sure that you do the scenario for this week and then discuss it in detail in this week's discussion post. Then the last thing that you'll be doing this week is preparing for your final exam and taking your midterm, I should say, um, taking your midterm exam. There are 50 questions on your midterm exam this week, um, and they cover everything that has been touched on at, uh, for the first four weeks of the course. So it could be anything in those first four weeks. I would recommend that you go back and you review those um, those previous tests that you've taken, Re review all four of those. Those will be a great way to practice and to get yourself ready for this week's midterm. Um, Make sure that you are looking at, at everything that you uh, can about abbreviations. Um, make sure that you are reviewing aseptic technique and um, how to apply that in an in inpatient setting. Um, also, make sure that you go back and you look over uh, last week's information all about uh, law. So there's a lot of different things regarding law. Specifically look at things like um, how drugs are classified. What do I need in order to be able to place an order for C2s? Uh, what are specific paperwork is, what specific paperwork is involved? Um, things along those lines. Uh, what else do I need to know about a prescription? What do I need to have on a prescription in order for it to be valid? Um, those kinds of things. Um, and as with all of your tests, I would also recommend that you go through and you try to do as much of it as possible without looking at any of your books. Um, if you do need to use your book, make yourself a little note that you had to go back and use your book for that so that you know what you need to might need to go and study uh, for the remainder of the course. The other thing that I would recommend is, you know, once you've finished the test, go back and look and see, you know, which ones did you second guess yourself on? Um, and you now need to go back and, uh, you know, fix um, going forward. And then the final thing I wanted to remind you about was the presentation um, 
uh, I'm going to put it out there for you that is kind of a review of just how to take a test, um, how to eliminate things like that. So look for that as well um, this week in my uh, instructor resources so that you can kind of see what's a good, what are some good things that you can do when you are taking tests. Um, and as usual, if you have any problems or questions, make sure that you reach out to me um, and have a great week.